Clearing and grubbing west of Highway 5 reveals concrete foundations, remnants of the 20th century. The San Dieguito River Valley was an airbase during World War II, a home for 130 men and two blimps, also known as lighter-than-air airships. These 300-foot-long, 72-foot-high aircraft patrolled our coastline. At war's end, the Del Mar Airport occupied the land, but by the early 1960s, the airport made way for progress and the construction of Highway 5, effectively cutting the wetland in half. A temporary haul road created under Highway 5 allows access to this area, permitting scrapers and graders to clear the land. Vegetation is pushed and stacked, later grinded into mulch, a base material, and mixed into the earth. Scrapers cut down into the moist topsoil, removing eight inches of materials, lifting the native pickleweed plant, harvesting the nutrients. In years to come, some 400,000 established pickleweed plants will be hand-placed into the wetland. This topsoil, with its pickleweed seeds, will be returned to the area to be used as a seed bank when the grading is complete. This seed bank will support new growth during the replanting process. Completion of the haul road will allow access for a much larger vehicle, the excavator. Under Highway 5, lumbers the hammer a powerful attachment. The blimp mooring circle will return to the earth when the excavator begins hammering the building foundations, crushing the block and clearing the way for the new basin. This concrete material is broken into small manageable pieces and will later be placed into the bottom of the two nesting sites supporting their foundations. Water trucks are used daily, helping with dust control and soil compaction. Management has an active role in planning activities and safety protocols employing approximately 80 people on the project. Environmental safety is equally important. Because of this, rebar was removed from the concrete. Attracting birds is one of the major components of restoration, and the site below will become a nesting habitat. During construction, a silt fence contains materials within the project. The well-being of migratory waterfowl, as well as migratory and local shorebirds, are being addressed during winter, September through February, because birds tend not to nest during this time of year. Winter is also the best time to clear the plants and begin digging. Working as a team, equipment operators push and lift mud to be used as fill dirt on the east side of Highway 5. Traveling under Highway 5, full trucks transport their cargo to disposal sites while empty trucks return for more dirt. Thousands of loads will be dumped into the disposal sites, later to be flattened by dozers, graders, and water trucks. In the meantime, a surveyor stakes the areas for digging and elevation cuts. Soon, the basin excavation will transform this area, creating a 42-acre fish nursery.